Meerkats in Plant Zoo are probably going to be huge disappointments because of the fact that burrow and den animals that are already in game are also huge disappointments if you look at them closely. So hey everyone, my name is Poison Blade and let's just, you know, move right on to the actual meat of the video. So this video is going to be hugely based on my opinions. So there is that. If you have a different opinion, that's great. Let me know down below in the comments and maybe you can change my opinion. But my opinion is still meerkats when they get added into the game are going to be disappointing unless something gets fixed with burrow and den animals in general. Because... They are in-game. There is the Chinese pangolin, which I'm 99% sure of is a burrow animal. There's way too many bears, which are, I think, mostly den animals. There's basically just this huge issue that you can spread apart in three smaller issues that form the large one. First off, there's no mechanics in-game that differentiate a burrow or den animal from any other animal. When it comes to, like, their sleeping or just, like, their home area. Because the only mechanic that's right now, I think, in-game is distance. So I can build a hellish doggy house up in the sky for my burrow or den animals. Let's just take the meerkat or the Chinese pangolin, for example. And I can build a realistic burrow for them. But if that hellish doggy house up in the sky is closer to them, they will go to that. Even if it's like completely against the nature of the animal, because I think Chinese penguins and meerkats are not supposed to go off the ground. But again, if that hellish doggy house up in the sky is closer to them, they will prefer that one just because of the distance. And even if you want to build something realistic, going into the second point, you can't basically. Like if you want to build a realistic den or burrow, you can't. Well, you can build a realistic den, but the animals are not going to use either of those things because most animals in Planet Zoo have a ridiculously huge hitbox. If anything is blocking that hitbox, which is always larger than the actual visual appearance of the animal, but if anything is blocking that hitbox, the animal will see that area as non-traversable. And when it comes to burrows and dens, those are usually not larger than the animal itself, at least at the entrance, because... That's what makes it for the animals safer if it's not just like a huge entrance. Of course, when it comes to bears, yes, you can put them in case. But I also want to be able to build a small den for them that, yes, is not going to be larger than the bear itself at the entrance. But might, you know, larger up when you get further into it. That hitbox is just like, it's blocking you from building anything realistic when it comes to a burrow or a den. So if you want to... Well, if you want to basically build a burrow for the meerkat, good luck. The meerkat is probably not going to be able to fit in that burrow. Even though visually it might look like it would fit. Because again, a burrow or den, at least at the entrance, is usually not that much larger than the actual animal itself. But the hitbox in Plant Zoo just prevents you from building that. Because they won't see it as reversible. And I of course understand creative freedom. Planet Zoo is all about like creative freedom. I've built wacky and crazy stuff. Case in point, Canal Bashar. The damn zoo is floating. But sometimes I want to build something realistic. But then it limits me in that way. So there is also just like, yeah, you have creative freedom. But then when you want to build something realistic, it's blocking you actually. So what's the creative freedom there? Yeah, then there's also just the point of even if you want to build a realistic burrow or den, even if the hitbox wasn't blocking that, you can't really <laughs> build that because the terrain tools in Planet Zoo, they can be precise, but not to the point of building a actual burrow. You can build a den with the terrain tools. Again, then you go back to the second point of the bears are not going to be able to use it or any animal that's like a den animal is probably not going to be able to use it unless it's like like, you can build a den, but then it has to be for a Chinese pangolin, which is ridiculously oversized den for a Chinese pangolin. But yeah, the terrain tools in Plant Zoo aren't allowing you actually to build something like a burrow or a den for your animals. And again, like, in this game, the huge thing is creative freedom. So I can understand when it comes to, like, mechanics that you don't want to limit the player to, like, oh, you need to build this kind of thing. I understand that. Yeah, then the other point is just again like in another way you're giving players creative freedom but you're also 
somewhat taking it away, mostly because of the hitboxes, because... Again, I want to build small burrows, I want to build dens that are somewhat more realistic. I have tried building realistic burrows and dens even in Canal Bashar. They just never work, so if meerkats get added into the game right now, I kind of foresee them basically being the same as the Chinese pangolin, where they will just not make use of burrows or the burrows that you can make for them just don't fit the actual animal. And then there's also, of course, like, I know that when meerkats get added, then we will get those iconic animations of them standing up, but then there's also just the thing that I think that they will just do that randomly, even though the most iconic thing is them, like, huddled together in a group and standing up on top of their burrow. But then if the burrow itself is just, like, bleh, then I also just, like, again, I think that they will have those animations of them standing up, but they will just be in random places all over whatever habitat that you built for them. They won't really clutter together in a group, but that's another problem when I think of meerkats getting at it. But I don't want to just rant on Frontier. This video is not just of like, yeah, Frontier sucks, meerkats are going to suck. No, I actually want to have like maybe some solutions to what could be done to make meerkats better, what could be done to make Burrow animals and then animals just overall better. The first uh, solution that I can think of is, well, just changing the mechanics. So it's maybe not the most achievable solution, but like if you change the hitboxes of animals, so that's burrows and dents that you might be able to make will actually work for the animals, then like I can't see Frontier changing the terrain mechanics. Like I think that's such a core aspect of the game right now. Also, I have no knowledge whatsoever about coding or making a game so there's that i also have like a very baseline knowledge of the actual animals itself but yeah there could be like some mechanic changes to like the hitboxes but i don't know how achievable that is and then the other thing is i would actually prefer to have like a mechanic of preference or comfort where like if you build a sleeping area or home for your animal that's more in line with like their natural habitat that they will prefer that habitat or that sleeping area actually over your hellish doggy house up in the sky and yes i have built basically doggy houses up in the sky i just it would actually be nice to have like some sort of like preference system or like a comfort system where like if you make a better sleeping area the animal is going to be happier because of that or like if you make a habitat or Again, sleeping area. I don't know why I keep saying habitat, but sleeping area that's more in line with their natural habitats, natural environments, that they would be more comfortable in there. But then that could also be just in the entirety of their habitat. So, legitimately, just want to have like a mechanic where animals prefer one thing over another if it's in line with their natural environment. Then, the other thing that I could think of that wouldn't really change mechanics might not be a solution for dense but might be a solution for burrows, and I don't really... When it comes to dents, I'm not that bothered by it, because I can build a cave for bears. I think in nature there are enough stories of bears living in caves, or like enough, whether they're real or fantasy stories, there's enough stories basically of bears living in caves, so I'm not too bothered by bears living in caves. What I am bothered by is like meerkats or Chinese penguins living in was basically a mini cave. I can't say that whatever I can create for meerkats or Chinese pangolins right now is a burrow, but the other solution that I can think of when it comes to burrows is actually having like a different sleeping item for any animal that would live in a burrow. Having like a separate item, like right now we have the straw and we have the leaves, I think I've almost never used the leaves, but we have those, but if we had like a sl separate sleeping thing or item for burrows, where it's basically just a recolorable hill with holes in it, I would actually don't not mind that because it adds that immersion factor. Like the whole thing when it comes to whenever meerkats get added, whenever for new burrow animals get added, it's like there's no burrow, so it to me breaks the immersion because you can read about the animal being a burrow animal, but in Plan Zoo, I want to actually see my animal being a burrow animal, going to sleep in a burrow. 
when it comes to meerkats, you can also... Again, I have no knowledge about coding. I don't know how easy this is to achieve. Please let me know if you do know anything about coding, how easy it is to have this tweaked, basically. But when it comes to, like, meerkats, it would be actually a nice thing where the burrow can also serve as an enrichment item, basically smashed together, where some animals, case in point meerkats, will also use the burrow as an enrichment item where they will be standing on top of that. And then you will have that iconic moment of them standing on top of their burrow, cluttered together like you usually see in videos of meerkats. And then with other animals, I don't know if the Chinese pangolin has anything close to that with their burrows. They are just not useful as enrichment items. That is like certain animals use places or items in certain ways. Some animals can use it as an enrichment item, some others can't. And... That would actually, I think, be, in my mind, the more achievable one, because, like, building in new mechanics a year into the game is... Mm, when it comes to these animals, like, I can see new mechanics being added with aviaries and such and birds, because those are huge things. Burrow animals might not be on the highest point of priority there. But then, I also just wanted to go into worst case scenario when it comes to meerkats. Especially, because just think about the size of a meerkat. I would say I have enough trust in front of you to not do this, I... Well, am I then lying? Like, my trust in front of you has been kind of dwindling when it comes to the animals. But the worst case scenario when it comes to meerkats and looking at their size, I think some people might already start to feel what's going to happen. Or what I'm going to say is that worst case scenario, Meerkats get added into those exhibit boxes. <laughs> because then, I mean, that's a very easy way to have the animations of them iconically standing on top of their burrows. You can easily put that burrow in. I want to say like, oh, Frontier's not going to do that. Frontier's also probably not going to do that actually, because I think the community will just rampage whenever that gets announced. But then I also didn't think snakes would be put into exhibit buildings. Although I can slightly understand it with snakes. Well, when Planet Zoo was basically announced, I was just so happy to build like snake habitats. In my case, also have very dangerous snake habitats where I would basically feed my guests to do the snakes. But this is worst case scenario. Not the snake habitats, but the meerkats being put into exhibit boxes. But to wrap up this rant, because I've gone on for long enough. Why do I think meerkats are going to be disappointing? Because... Every burrow and then animal, in my opinion, in Planet Zoo so far has been disappointing because there's no mechanics that change their behavior that makes you able to differentiate them from other animals that don't sleep in burrows or dens or don't make their homes when it comes to like burrows and dens. And then if you want to build a realistic burrow or den, good luck with that. It's either not going to be usable or you just can't make a burrow or den. And then the most preferable solution to me for this problem is just like, in case of a burrow at least, have like an item that can serve as a sleeping area. But also in the case of some animals, case in point, meerkats also can serve as an enrichment item to have those like iconic poses. Yeah, the change of mechanics. I would love to see like a preference system or a comfort system, but I don't know if Frontier is going to add any of that. Like the... The mechanic side of like the solution, mm, I also had the idea of like how to make a custom burrow or a custom den. Yeah, in the end you go back to like, oh, the mechanics need to change for such a thing to work. Or you're going to make something very glitchy because I had the idea for a second to have like a, some sort of teleportation too. Yeah, that's just going to destroy the game. But anyway... I would love to hear your guys' opinions on meerkats. Do you think that they could be disappointing? Because, again, this is based on the assumption that there's going to be no mechanics and that they're basically going to be Chinese pangolin number two, just with a different look to them. If you have any different opinions, please let me know. What do you think of meerkats if they're going to be added to the game? And, yeah, hope you enjoyed this rant, even though it was complete chaos. And if you enjoyed it, there's the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. I don't know how many rent videos I will make, but I have feel, been feeling very renty lately. 
very ranty lately. I can't speak, so I'm just going to stop the video here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope all of you have a wonderful day. Of course, don't forget to hit the notification button, but uh, that thing also doesn't really work. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>